How are you guys doing? My name is Eric. In today's video, we're going to talk about what is the price of a TPO roof here in Houston, Texas, and how much you should be paying in 2021. Uh, we're going to talk about what the prices are right now, and then we're going to talk about what affects that price. So as an owner, you have a better understanding of how much a new roof should cost you. So I'm going to try to make this video as short and simple to the point so I don't waste your time. Now, right now for the Houston, Texas area, you're looking to pay between $400 to $1,200 per square. This is for a TPO roof. Now, I know this is a big price difference. It's $400 to that $1,200. But let me explain. If you're the business owner, if you're the commercial owner, uh, you're a lot more likely going to pay a lot closer to this 400 per square than this 1200 Again, later on, we'll talk about what's affecting this price. But this 1200 that's going to be for a lot for more government-type projects, a lot bigger, more complex, the bigger warranties, the best material. So I have this included on here as well. But like I said, most uh, owners are going to pay a lot closer to this $400 per square. Uh, so what we do well whenever we come out to your property is we get the dimensions, we get the length, we get the width, we measure the roof, we measure the walls as well, whatever we're going to go ahead and uh, replace um, and we get our, our squares. So 10 feet by 10 feet equals 100 square feet and 100 square feet equals one square. So you understand how we get our measurements. Uh, now, let's say you're an owner and you have a roof that has about 50 squares. Now this includes the walls and let's say your roof and your walls, you have about 50 squares. As an owner, you're looking to pay somewhere between 20,000 to 60,000 for a TPO roof. Uh, so what we did is we multiplied this 50 squares by 400, 50 squares by 1,200. And like I said, if you're the owner, most likely you're gonna pay a lot closer to $400 per square feet, that $20,000 per a roof. Uh, so you kind of have a general idea of how we get these prices. So if you know your squares of your roof, you can have uh, kind of have an idea of what a new roof will cost you. Um, now let's talk about what affects this price and what is it, why is there a difference between that 400 and that 1,200. Now, not every roof is the same. Uh, this difference between price and come down to a couple of different things. Uh, number one is going to be the type of roof that you have, the complexity of the roof. Uh, number two is going to be what material is being used. Number three is going to be who is the company that's installing it. And then the last one is what type of warranty are you going with with your roof? Now, when it comes to the actual complexity of the roof, which is the first factor, uh, this is pretty straightforward. Some roofs are easier than others. Um, things like layers. Do you have one layer of roof? Do you have multiple layers of roof? Do you have to remove a layer of roof? Uh, your actual roof, how many AC units do you have? or how many penetrations or skylights, all these things that we have to worry about, about flashing. Um, things like the walls, how big are your walls? How, how do you even have walls? Um, other things such as your decking, do you have wood, do you have metal, or do you have concrete? You know, concrete decking, it takes special screws that take a lot longer and more expensive versus if you had a, uh, a wood or a metal decking. You know, all these things play a factor in it. So. When it comes to your roof, the best thing is have them come out there, have them take a look, and have them take a core sample to see what you have on right now so you can kind of see what, what you're working with. Again, the more complex your roof is, it's going to be a little more expensive for a roof. Okay, so now let's go ahead and talk about material. Uh, material, this is best explained if you understand how a TPO roof system works and what is all included. Uh, again, I want to make this video very short, so I'm just going to go over the basics. Uh, when it comes to a TPO roof system, you have a different components, the installation, the actual TPO, uh, the screws that go in, the plates, the how you can do the walls. You have different options and different varieties. So everything here is customizable, and it depends on what you want and what you have on right now as a roof. So, for example, when it comes to insulation, you have different options for insulation. You have fan for that's very uh, half an inch or you have insulation that's thicker like this you can get one inch two inches three inches and so on uh insulation the higher insulation you get the more expensive it is as well and now also when it comes down to the tpo you have different options you can get tpo that's 60 mil 80 mil 100 mil uh the bigger the mil the the more material the uh the higher quality the tpo is and even down to the screws 
you have different sizes of screws uh, depending on the installation that you go with. All these things play a factor. So when it comes to material, just understand not every TPO roof is the same and it depends. It depends on what you want and what you have on right now. So TPO, uh, insulation, uh, screws, and then anything else, any details, uh, how you're gonna install the walls, you're gonna use a uh, glue, or um, are you gonna have, how many vents do you have in your roof, how many AC units, all those things really do change in, in the price for a roof. So material does matter, and again, uh, talk to your roofing company that comes out there and have them explain to you and let them give you options and, and talk to them about what you want and what do you wanna get out of your roof. That's the best way to go ahead and gauge these prices. Now, the next factor is pretty simple and it's straightforward, the company. Again, material matters and the company that's installing your roof matters. I will go with a company that is licensed, insured, is certified, and has done past, uh, past jobs. Because when it comes to when it comes to TBO roofs, you can get different bids from different companies. But from our experience, whenever we go out there and do roofs that uh, they had a roofer come out there, uh, the company matters a lot. If you're gonna go ahead and invest in a new TBO roof system for your roof, and you're spending thousands of dollars, the last thing that you want to do is go ahead and go very cheap when it comes to who's installing your roof. Because if you go with cheap, I promise you that company is lacking in one of these areas with the uh, experience or with the cutting corners somewhere. So make sure you hire a company that has these credentials because a company does matter. Uh, installing a TPO roof, if you've never installed a TPO roof before, you may not know the difference between a good installation versus a bad installation. And if you don't get the right installation, you're going to start having leaks a lot sooner than you should be having. And it's a big headache for you. So make sure... You hire the right company when it comes to your TPO roof. Now, the last factor, which is going to be warranties. Again, this is best explained by the company that you hire, so let them talk to you. But warranties, you have different options. You have the company warranty that the company that's installing your roof may offer, and then you have your manufacturer warranty. Uh, the company warranty, it depends on each company. Everyone's on their own. And when it comes to manufacturer warranty, too, it depends on the brand that you want to go with. Uh, some manufacturers, they give you options if you want to get a higher warranty for more years or they have certain criteria they have to install when, with your roof or they have to do an inspection afterwards. Uh, so when it comes to warranty, does does affect the price on it. Um, it depends. So again, we tell you, go ahead and talk to your roofer, but just be aware warranties do play a factor when it comes to the cost of a new TPO roof. Uh, now, hopefully this video helped answer any questions you might have and you have a general idea how much a TPO roof costs. Again, I know uh, when it comes to TPO roofs, it can be a lot to take in. So we advise you, go ahead and call a local company that does TPO roofs and have them come out there. Have them talk to you, have them explain to you what, what they offer and explain to them what you're looking for, what you want, and let them get on your roof, let them take the measurements and let them send them an estimate to you and have them look over and make sure you guys are in the right place. Uh, that's the best way to go ahead and gauge prices. Again, hopefully this video helped answer any questions you might have and you can have a better idea of what prices are. And if you're in the Houston area and you're looking for a new flat roof or you have more questions when it comes down to TPO or any single ply membrane roof, uh, go ahead and give us a call. Our number is 832-458-1602. Uh, we're a local company here in Spring, Texas, but we do work all throughout Houston and we've done uh, many, many jobs for TPO roofs. So we're here to help answer any questions you might have or even give you an estimate if you're looking for one. I appreciate you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.